these where the forces to materialize the human body using this Roman way of seeing the world become stronger and stronger and stronger until we're now living in these bodies that are built up out of these Roman forces. And there's this impulse to want to change our relationship to our world and to our experience of self. And so that was really an impulse that then Rudolf Steiner brought. And what then his question was, can we begin to work with space in such a way that we can, um, that we can begin to move away from that which is fixed, and begin to bring into our, our environments that which will support the development of this um, watery element or life element um, in our structures. And um, key to this was um, his, his point that for, for me to do this, and this is Rudolf Steiner speaking, for me to do this, I can't do this alone. I have to do this in colleagueship with others. And so all the work that he took up in order to bring about this great work was working with others, working with colleagues. And his focus in, in that relationship was, was recognizing and honoring <coughs> the relationship, the importance of the individual and the relationship of the individual to the community. And it's only when those two things are in balance that, that, this, that the ego is tempered. And what can come through that collaboration is a kind of listening to or hearing of what wants to kind of shine down from the star, whatever the star may be. Yeah. And the individual human being can't do that because our egos have become so <laughs> entrenched that we can't, we can't hear. And so it's absolutely essential that we can find colleagues where in the working between, something can shine through. And so one of his closest colleagues, who was a remarkable human being, uh, Edith Marion, who was a widely recognized sculptress, she met Steiner, and really, it was her coming to him that made it possible for him to take up what he really saw as his task, one of his primary tasks. And it's to her that then he gave this very personal uh, verse that speaks to this relationship between individual and community. And you may know it as the, as the social ethic, the verse of the social ethic which is widely used, but I think it's really important that you understand where that comes from. That it was a personal verse given to Edith Marion directly speaking about what do we have to do in order to bring into being, to open, to create a human situation where something higher wants to find its form in the world. Just read that. You probably know it. It's slightly modified because um, the, the, the accustomed translation doesn't really represent the original German. The healing social life is found when in the mirror of each human soul the whole community finds its reflection. And when in the community, the strength of each one is living. So that lies behind then this invitation 
to um, create a space for those who, who out of their own destiny find themselves here tonight to listen to this, uh, but also then to come and contribute in whatever way their own soul is moved to contribute, to, to add to, to awaken, to enliven what is here as the very beginning of this attempt to, to bring into movement forms that come from the world that fix us and bind us. And in so doing, build into the physical experience, the physical constitutional experience of those who are, who are approaching this great transition, that then they can prepare for what their task will be in the future in awakening community. And that's some of what lies behind what's trying to happen here. Um, so thank you for coming, listening. Um,